Buzzard Shields by Ronald Walker. You can find this on Smashwords. When you go to Smashwords, it will ask you to become a member, give your name, email address, that's where your books will be sent. The, the benefit of, of Smashwords, to some degree, is that once you buy a book, that book goes to your email address to be sent to you. Then it goes in your library on your Smashwords page, and you can't lose it. If something happens with your uh, TV or your computer or whatever you got it on, tablet, or phone, whatever, you can still just go to Smashwords, go to your library, and download that book. Every book that you have in your library there is there for you free of charge, unlike Amazon. If you lose your book from Amazon, you buy another one. And uh, that's one of those things. You can see the outline of, of him riding his horse. See the sextant that they did the locations and whatever. The big old uh, uh, gold mine. That's representation because they did not do a, a mine like that. They did hand in uh, eastern uh, Alaska. That's more or less portrayed in the bottom here with the mountains. But he and his nephew started. His, his nephew had a bush, bush plane that he used, and he also had a mail route that he, he ran with that plane. And they had time, and they went gold mining. And they found it in abundance. It was not a matter of just picking up a few pans of, of, of dirt and whatever and panning for gold. They had, they had a lot of gold. And it was in veins. Uh, Buzzard was, they called him Unk at that time instead of Buzzard. And uh, he was adept at finding uh, mother loads and veins and what you want to call it. Because that gold had to come from somewhere. All the, the creeks and rivers and whatever. It didn't just float down the river. It was torn out. Some of it probably. You know, the valleys that are, are mostly were taken out by the ice flows. And if you can, there's some places in, in the Washington, Oregon, that area, that there are some really cuts that the ice did tore out valleys and stuff and whatever. But anyway, the, the gold was here during the time that the earth was in a molten shape and the heavier uh, metals went into the core. And when the volcanoes erupted and whatever, that was, was, came out, came out in the flow, came out in the mountain building, came out and it was available to everybody, the gold that was found in California, most of it that was easily done was out just laying on the ground or it was in streams or whatever. Uh, the, the major portions of it was in, in quartz. It was not the refined gold that you see and whatever, and it took a lot of mining to do it. But at any rate, he starts off as a carpenter with the army in the Corps of Engineers building barracks. He was young, but he was capable. And he had people with him that was capable. They did that for about a year. Then he was asked to go and head the survey team that uh, did a survey across the four states, New Mexico, Arizona, Utah, and Colorado. The, the four state area. There's only one place in our country that there are four um, states that border each other, and that's those four states. At any rate, uh, he did that, then uh, went up to uh, Alaska, met with his nephew, who is actually older than him, and they mined gold. You can find this on Smashwords, and uh, they're six ninety nine dollars a piece. Um, I like them. <laughs> of course, I wrote them, but they are uh, stories that I wanted to read that I hadn't found, 
and uh, they're mostly a, about a person's life and what he did and his likes and whatever. Uh, they, oh, I won't even talk about America or whatever. But at any rate, uh, subscribe to my channel. It helps me to grow. A like, it'll help me to grow too. Uh, uh, YouTube likes the likes. And uh, it's, it's not much to do. Just click a button. And uh, if you want to, comment. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what you want to see, what you want to read. And uh, these 30 books on Smashwords are different genres. And some of them are adult reading. Uh, Buzzard Shields South is not. And uh, anyway... Go, go look at them. See what you think. Smashwords has over 10 million books published. They are honest with us, unlike some of the others. And uh, they are, uh, to me, uh, honest in what they do. Think about having the books in your possession or having them where you can get them. And that's the way it will always be. You will not lose your books. You will not lose any money uh, to do, have to do it over again or whatever. Smash words. Ronald D. Walker. I've got 30 e books. Thank you.